Hi everyone, welcome back to Graphiculator YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you that how to convert your photos to pencil sketch like this. And then we can color it with nice gradient effect. Okay let's get start then. I have selected this girl's image for this edit. Here is one tip. This edit will work very effectively for the images which has white backgrounds. So keep this in mind before you select an image for edit. Okay. First of all I need to make a duplicate layer of this background layer. You can drag and drop background layer to this new layer icon at the bottom of the layer palette to make a duplicate layer. Or, you can press Ctrl J or Command J to make duplicate layer. And I'll rename this new layer as Color Dodge. Then as per the name of the layer, I'm going to change the blending mode of this layer to Color Dodge. And we need to remove the colors from this layer. I'm going to use an adjustment layer to make this layer black and white. Click on the adjustment layer icon at the bottom of the layer palette. And select black and white adjustment layer. Now you can see that our image has been converted to a black and white image. Then I'm going to convert this color dodge layer to a smart object. Right click on the color dodge layer and click on convert to smart object. Now you can see that this layer has been converted to a smart object. Then we need to invert the colors of this layer. Go to the image. Adjustment. Invert. Or you can press Ctrl I or Command I to invert colors. After invert the colors of this layer, now you can see that whole image turned to white except these little black details. Now we need to get back these details as a sketch. What we need to do is select color dodge layer, and go to the filters. Blur. Gaussian Blur. Now you will see this Gaussian Blur window. Also you can see our image is now back as a sketch. We can play around with this radius settings to adjust the details of the image. I will stick with 35 in for this image. This radius value will be different according to the image you select for your edit. So you can change this value until you find correct details in image. Once it done, click OK. Now you have this black and white sketch image. I'm now going to add more details for this image. To do this, go to the layer palette, and make a duplicate layer of background layer. Press Ctrl J or Command J to make duplicate layer. And I will move this new layer all the way up and place above all other layers. I will rename this layer as glowing edges. Because I'm going to add glowing edge filter to this layer. But before that we need to remove color details from this image. Go to the image. Adjustments Desaturate Or you can press Shift Ctrl U or Shift Command U in Mac to desaturate the image. And then same as previous layer, I'm going to convert this glowing edge layer to a smart object. Right click on the glowing edge layer, and click on convert to smart object. And with the select of glowing edge layer, go to the filters. Filter gallery It will open up this filter gallery window. Press Ctrl 0 or Command 0 to fit the preview to the window. And under the stylize menu, select glowing edge. Now you can see that glowing edge preview in this preview panel. And go to the settings of this effect. I will set edge width to 2. Edge brightness to 7. And smoothness to 9. Keep in mind that these values may differ with the image you select. So play around with these settings until you find correct effect. Once it done, click OK. Now we need to make this black area to white, and then white areas to black. We can easily do with invert option we did before. So select the glowing edge layer, and go to the image. Adjustments. Invert, or press Ctrl I or Command I to invert colors. Now you can see that this black outlines has been added to the image. These helps to make this image more realistic. But we don't want this white areas in image. We need to remove these white areas by leaving only black details. To remove the whites from the layer, I'm changing the blending mode of this layer to multiply. Now you can see that all of the white details has been removed from the layer by leaving only black. And this will make our sketch more realistic. And I will need to add more details to this image. Go to the layer palette again. Select the background layer and press Ctrl J or Command J to make another duplicate layer. 
and again I will move this new layer all the way up from other layers. I will rename this layer as charcoal. Yes you thought it right. I'm going to add charcoal effect to this new layer. But before that, we need to desaturate this layer same as we did for glowing edge layer. Select charcoal layer, and go to the image. Adjustments. Desaturate, or press shift Control u or shift Command u Now convert this charcoal layer to a smart object by right clicking on the layer and click convert to smart object. And then go to the colors in toolbox. We need to set foreground color to black and background color to white. You can click on this little icon over here, or you can press D key to set these default colors. And then with the select of this charcoal layer, go to the filters. Filter gallery. Press Ctrl 0 or Command 0 to fit the preview to the window. Then go to the sketch. And select charcoal. Then go to the settings of this effect. You can change these values until you find correct effect. I will set charcoal thickness to 1. And details to 4. And light and dark balance to 38. This looks good for this image. Once you done, click OK. And we no need white details in this layer also. So select the charcoal layer and go to the blending options, and change blending mode to multiply. Now we have our sketch image here. Then I'm going to create a paper texture. This will give more realistic look for our sketch. Go and click on the new layer icon at the bottom of the layer palette to create new layer. And I will rename this as paper texture. Then go to the colors again in toolbox. Now I need to swap these colors to take white as foreground color. Click on this little icon to swap colors, or you can press X key to swap foreground and background colors. Now we need to change our background color to off-white color to make this paper texture effect. Click on the background color icon and it will open up this window. You can select bit off-white color from this. I will select this color and click OK. Now foreground color has been set to white and background color set to off-white. Then select the paper texture layer, and fill this with foreground color which is white in this case. Press Alt Backspace or Option Delete on Mac to fill with foreground color. And I'm converting this paper texture layer to a smart object by right clicking on the layer. Then go to the filters. Filter Gallery. Under the sketch menu, click on Note Paper Filter. Now you can see our background color will appear here in this preview as a background color of this paper texture layer. Then I'm going to the settings of this filter, and set image balance to 22, graininess to 11, relative to 13. Now you can see this paper texture effect in our image, but we need to have the subject on top of the image. To bring the subject to front, I will change the blending mode of paper texture layer to multiply. Now you can see our sketch is on top of the paper texture. Ok then, you can stop here if you like this black and white pencil effect. This is looks good, but I will go one step further to add gradient color effect to this pencil sketch. This will give you a cool looking image. Select the charcoal layer in layer palette. I'm now going to add gradient fill adjustment layer above this charcoal layer. Go to the bottom of the layer palette. Click on the new adjustment layer. Click on gradient. This will create a gradient fill adjustment layer, and also open up this window. Click on the drop-down arrow of gradient and select a gradient as per your choice. I'll go to the purples, and select this third gradient. Change the angle of gradient to 135 degrees, and leave all other settings as default. You can see that this gradient has now applied to whole image. But we don't want to do that. We need gradient to affect only for the sketch. To do this, select the gradient adjustment layer, and change the blending mode to color. Now you can see this cool gradient effect applied to the sketch. You can use any solid color instead of gradient according to your choice. Ok, everyone, that's it. You can compare this with the original image. This is the original. And this is after. 
Hope you have learned something from this tutorial. Thank you for watching this. If you like this video, please hit the like button. And also share this video to see someone else. Please make sure you subscribe to my channel to see new tutorials and other design stuffs. See you in next video.